What is up, everybody? This is Firebird856, and today we are playing... We're starting a new series, I should say. Don't Starve! Yes, um... Game I really enjoy, I gotta say. It's, you know, still in beta mode. Mode, um... Yeah, Don't Starve is currently in beta. Please don't tell us about... Blah, 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 blah. We're not here to read, we're here to play. So I'm gonna start a new game, make a new world, actually. Yes. I was actually, um... Playing in a game. Let's do a new method because the old method is, you know, it's not good for recording. Recording because you know you have to read down. You have to like delete everything and re-download it. <coughs> Excuse me. For it to get the full effect for recording. So yeah, see, I got some characters here. We have Wolfgang, Wendy, Willow, and the default character, which I'll be playing. Will Wilson. I'll probably get into these characters later. I really. Actually, no, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, strong. I really like Wolfgang the best, and Willow's kind of cool. Well, she's just creepy. But yeah, we'll start with Wilson. Regenerating the world, hurting pines, insulating buckets, framing gigging theory. It's gonna take a little while, so, um. Yeah, but. Ugh. I, I hate these, lo well, not loading screens, just like these awkward moments where I gotta fill up just with commentary. Uh, oh yeah, I'm planning on getting um, the full version of uh, DX Story soon. Probably not this week, cause you know I gotta I, got, I don't get money every week. I get it every other week, and I had it last week. So, but definitely next week, I will get it on Saturday as soon as I can. That really Thursday is me recording this. This and uh, my dog's here. Really hope she doesn't bark. I'm gonna put her in the bathroom, but uh, why did I say that? <laughs> uh, we do. I do put her in the bathroom because it's like the only like closed door area we area that I can like trust her to be in. Cause you that in the closets and there's no light in the closets. So so yeah. Um, what's going on? Did my game just freeze? No. Ah, uh, go figure. Back. Why? And we are back. Say, pal, you don't look so good. Better find something to eat before night comes. And then he disappears. <laughs> we spawned right on top of a rabbit hole. Funny. So, uh, yeah, this is Don't Starve. First thing you want to do is pick some twigs, I guess. You got a lot of rabbits here on the rock. I like that. Hmm. So, yeah, um, over here we've got our... Actually, I'm not sure if the uh, mouse is showing, but in the top right corner we have a, uh... Uh, time counter. When, when uh, night falls, we're going to want to build a fire, and you're going to see why. So, yeah, over here we have our... Over here on the left side, we have our ah, these. We have our stuff. So we have tools, which right now we can only make an axe or a pickaxe, and I don't even have the flints for it. We can make a fight, different sorts of fires, different stuff for survival, food, food, science stuff, enough structures. I'll get into that at a lot, at a little later. Well, get into it as they come, I should say. So, given that I know where one rock is, I might just try to find another flint. And, like, it depends. If, if it's getting too late and I can't find another flint, then I'll just not bother. But since there's a lot of rocks here, actually, and that's many more than I've seen near spawn. Again, what do I know? So, yeah, I'll probably try to find another flint make the pickaxe, because you can get flint from the rocks. So, yeah. And flint is... It's not rare, but they're not that hard to find. I mean, they're not that easy to find. I'm just gonna collect some more grass and stuff. <clears throat> so, if I can find one of these flints, dang. Oh, there's one. Finally. Make a pickaxe. No, you probably think I should go with the axe first. Or so I can actually chop down the trees. But like I said, um, you get flint from the rocks. So, I'll be able to restock my flint and more. So, it pays out. Um, first time I try recording this, really hope it turns out well. Probably will. And there's a ton of grass here. Jeez. Hmm. So.
So, yeah. I'm gonna mine down this rock here. Here. You gotta hold it like this and ding, ding, ding. Now, as I said earlier, this game is still in beta mode, so there's bound to be some glitches. Hey, we got the gold ore. Nice. Nice. But it is really worth the play. So, um, this is actually the first time I tried recording a game with full screen on, because I don't do Minecraft in full screen. Two reasons. Like, every time I try to bring up full screen, like, it kind of crashes on me. E. Again, I have a really, really weak computer, so I shouldn't really be that surprised. But yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you like examine sapling, that will teach him more. Like, I cut it down in the prime of his life. Um, it what what's what hap what's what they say it really depends on like what's what what's going on or like what character you're using. Probably the character is the biggest factor. And before I forget, over here below the day counter, which you're probably already seen, is the health meter and hunger meter. Right now I am full health because we haven't got anything we haven't seen anything that can actually attack me. And we have the hunger meter. Now it's a lot harder to start. I mean, a lot easier to starve here in mine here than in Minecraft. Cause in Minecraft, you had enemies that practically gave you food if you had a sword. Trade my sword for a fish. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, yeah. This game, no. There's all sorts of varying foods, and they all do their own do their own thing. It's all piney. I will destroy. I didn't think I get. Wow! How did I do that? <laughs> Usually you need like a trap to catch those things and then kill it, but I managed just up point blank killed it. Nice. Okay, before I forget, I should probably make the axe, because that's a more suitable weapon. Not to mention, I do need to make it to chop down these trees. Nope, no hand chopping here. Chop, chop, up. God dang it. Chop, chop. So yeah, um, oh, the thing I just killed, yeah, that was a bunny. Now, money, as you can see, give you these morsels that if you cook them, which I'll explain a little later when it becomes relevant, uh, of course, and I'm doing all this stuff by holding them in space, just in case you're wondering, it kind of makes, makes the AI or whatever. Up, oh, I'm not, I don't have my pickaxe equipped. Kind of just lets the let just kind of lets him run, just whatever you can do do around him. So yeah, a ton of rocks. I'm not even exaggerating here. <laughs> so yeah, um, I should mention that uh, on Steam, Don't Starve is about eleven dollars, and you can also get a bonus copy, which I don't think I've actually given mine yet. So maybe I will hold a little contest to whoever wants that other extra copy of uh, Don't Star. I'm only happy to give it to anybody. Assuming I have it, that is. I'm not confirming it, but like, okay, look in the comments or I'll put up a thing right now saying whether or not I have the copy or not. Because I don't remember or me giving it to somebody, but I could have and again, forgot. Because I just had that kind of memory. Okay, uh, please tell me I have enough for a gap fighter. Yes, I do. Even have enough for a fire pit, but I don't want to build that just yet. So, now we get to... Damn it. Yeah, you can actually shift the camera angle. I would disable it because I did, just had a new thing about it. But I kind of like it because sometimes like it's hard to see things without flipping your pers pers perspective. Jeez. So, yeah, we're going to add some fuel here. And now, here's the like here's an aspect of the game that you'll use, probably use a lot. Cooking your food. See, I'm cooking my carrots. Um... As at this point in the game, carrots will do you a lot of good. So you can just basically eat them. They do replenish quite a bit of hunger. See, now I'm at 145. And then the morsels are more for replenishing health. I guess it kind of makes sense, but yeah. So, these night cycles can be kind of boring. Especially at first, because you really can't do anything. Because you can't leave the light. Hey, or else you get screwed over. Oh, I want to pick those berries. Oh, hurry, 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 Winston. Will, why, Wilson, why do I keep on calling him Winston? Shite. Shite, shite, shite. I'm back. Save the sound of the fire. 
Now, oh, wait, before I forget, survival, uh, science. Dang it! <laughs> I need more logs. No. That's, uh, that's disappointing. So, I was going to make an essential thing in the game called the science machine, which will basically, um, allow you to build other stuff if you have the stuff to build a prototype. But, yeah. And I really hope this fire lasts. I'll ha I might have to put some grass on it, which I really don't want to do. Um, so this is probably what I get for not I picking, not thinking it was important to uh, chop some trees. I guess I'll make. I uh, still can't make it because I don't have enough stuff. <sighs> oh boy. So yeah, as you can see, the day, like the daytime, is a lot longer than the nighttime. And what I'm thinking is gonna happen for me, like this is just a thing that happens to me. Like whenever transgresses into day. Oh god. Okay. Okay. The fire's getting really low. Come on. See, the darkness is actually closing in on us. It's just me. You do not want to be in the darkness. Okay. Dropped a little much, but honestly, worth it. Because, like, let me see what Let me show you what happens if I go out in the darkness. It's so dark, and if we stay in there or for too long, I'll see if I can. Uh. Yeah. Okay. You hear that noise tensing up? And if you don't get back into light soon, it'll attack you, and it brings down quite a bit of health. Like, it takes like 50 HP. So that's, you know, something you want to be careful of. And my dog is barking. Um, so, up, now it is daytime. Hopefully my game doesn't crash. Yay, it's fine. Okay. So, I got a question to ask you guys. Um... I've been looking for 3DS emulators because I want to play some 3DS games. Maybe it's because I, you know, I do have one. It's really cool because I really want to play like Paper Mario, Sticker Star, uh, maybe Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. I'm maybe some other games I'll get. Well, definitely some other games I'll get. Yeah, I really want to do that, but. I ha I'm not. I only found one like type of an emulator, and I'm not even sure if it's safe. So, like, I've looked it up. Up, it seems kind of sketchy, given the fact there's not even a download. And I searched for PSB to. Uh, it looks like it like it once crashed this guy's computer when he tried to download it. Yet. Of course, um, I could be completely wrong. It's just entire speculation, but yeah. I do, I am aware that there's a way to record games aimed for like the 3DS. What? I already can't pick up enough stuff? Okay, I really need to make this then. Uh, if I can, I gotta find one more stick. I'll just, I guess I'll just eat this. Because I am a bit hungry. Eat. <clears throat> yeah, and now I gotta find sticks. Speaking of sticks, <laughs> yeah, um, keep moving. So I'm going to be recording quite a bit more stuff, really, because I've been a little disappointed in my lack of content, at least recently, in my, you know, laziness to upload or even do anything. <clears throat> so, I'm going to record for who knows how long. I'll probably, I'll try to end it on the day site, on the end of the, on the night, night cycle. <sighs> but, again, I really can't promise anything. So, right now, the book pack is, you know, a very useful item. It allows you to store more, but it will take up this space, that slot, and you can't, like, put it in another, like, watch. If I try to put it over there, it won't let me, so it has to be on my, it has to be on my back or with nothing. It has to be on my back or on the floor, really. But, yeah, um, bit of a, bit of a chat, bit of a debate, it really, if it's worth it or not, because there's some really good items that you can wear. Just like the, uh... Actually, I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up right there, then and there. Um... Let's see, what do I gotta do? 
Oh yeah, I gotta make the science machine, duh. So the science machine is going to be your basic, uh, basic thing for any necessary survival, because there are some stuff that, well, you don't have to make. It, it, that is really, very, very, very useful, like this bug net. It's uh, a little weak, but you can catch, etch bug, but you can, you know, catch bugs with it, or this, uh, bird trap, or one of the best things of all, the straw roll. Which allows you to sleep through the night, which I really, really like sometimes, because I can, can take up a bit at a time just doing nothing. Of course, it leaves you being a lot more hungry, but honestly, it's probably worth it. I'm going to eat here. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm actually going to try the whole editing, breaking up into different videos. So I'm not, I'm not gonna record one episode all at once. Pro I'll at least try not to. So this like video doesn't end off on a uh, doesn't end off on a uh, outro. Then I probably succeeded. If not, it's either gonna be a really long video. Hey, wormhole! Don't really want to go in there just yet because I kind of do need need some more time. I need to prepare. So here we have beefalo. Uh, let me put my axe away so I don't accidentally attack them. It's a beefalo. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. Uh, I'm gonna actually pick up the manure, as gross as it sounds. Um, this stuff's pretty good for uh, farming, which I kind of do want to do. It's been a while since I did this. So yeah, um, this could go on for who knows how long, like my world here. Usually when I die, I like to restart the world and that. I'm not sure how how often I'm going to do that in this Let's Play because immediately if I stick to the same world, I'm just going to know everything and it's not going to be that fun. Ooh, spider nest. Uh, okay, kill the frog, got the frog legs. And, uh, I need to probably get out of the swamp. The swamps, uh, they are dangerous. Not, well, apparently this swamp is either too small or it's just not happening. And because I'm recording, which I'm glad. But these things, these little tentacles that um show up, and I don't, I don't think they're possible to kill on your own. Oh, oh, and there's no multiplayer on this game, so foreshadowing, maybe. I think I'll. Let's see. Not like that bad. I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll uh, make a f official base here. Let's build the fire pit right on the uh, road. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, road act walking on the road actually makes you go faster than just walking on the uh, grass. And what do I hear? There are spiders. Do I even want to know why I hear spiders? Actually, yes, I do. Hmm. Yeah, it's not worth it. I'd rather plant the saplings, actually, because, uh, they can grow, and then I can get more logs, which will be also out of this field. Plus, logs aren't hard to find in this game. Okay, so apparently I added way too much fire. Oh, <laughs> again, like, see, the thing is about the fire pit, why do I always forget to right-click? The fire pit will actually, two, two things. If the fire's too big, like it is right now, it will not burn anything local. It's not saying that's a bad thing. It's not just because I'm a, it's not just because I am a bit pyromaniac. Like, but you can actually get a, an item you can only get by burning trees. Nice, and it's pretty useful. Well, it's kind of useful. And oh, fireflies! If only I can catch them. They're not easy to catch when you have a when you don't have a. I mean, you don't have a local fire, but I don't even have the silk for it or, or the rope, oh, which I'll explain in a little bit. So, well, neither do I have the science machine. I should actually build that right now. And here we go. We have the science machine. See, a lot of things like dang in. If you look on the left side, we can have a whole bunch of stuff. Now, first thing you want to do is go to this refined area. You can make rope, boards, cut stone, and papyrus. The rope is probably going to be your most useful thing. I'm not going to make any right now because I don't see a need to. 
Actually, I should probably, I should, I probably should because if I do need the rope, I at least be, will be able to make it, make it without needing the science machine. I'll just put the rope back, up back here. So yeah, I, where are those spiders? Probably by that spider nest I saw earlier. Cook these carrots up. Cook the frog legs, excuse me, and I guess I'll eat these roasted berries. And the toasted seeds. And a carrot. Oh, shysta! Well, looks like he found me. No, get back here, bitch. Die. And now we get silk. Now, usually they drop monster er, meat, which you trust me. You do not want to eat that stuff. That stuff can kill you. You know, it's like food poisoning. Or something. I don't know. Let me see that this foot frog leg will do for me. Eh, it's not that helpful. It's probably more of a health thing. I think meat is more for health and vegetables are good for hunger. But I don't know. I could be I could be wrong. And why didn't I use the manure for fuel? I don't know. I'm probably probably because I'm stupid.